Hello, this is Dina from the Marks Group, and today we're going to talk about leads and everything you need to know. So first, the big question is always, what is a lead? In our eyes, a lead is a suspect, someone that you may do business with. Maybe they came in from a web form to into your Zoho. Maybe you picked up a trade show list and you imported it into Zoho, or you just captured some people, got some business cards, and entered in their records here within Leads. Then what you'd probably want to do is do some qualifying on those um, on those people to decide whether they're people you're going to want to do business with. If you do decide you want to do business with them, that's likely when you would convert them over to a contact account and possibly a deal. Uh, so that's just a little bit on what a lead is. Um, obviously, with many businesses, it can vary. Some people will keep contacts as leads until they're 100% going to do business with them. Other people will convert to a contact and account when they're ready to start a transaction, so that way they can use the deals with the lead. Um, it really varies by company. And then there are also the companies that just use different statuses within contacts and don't use the leads at all. But for today, we're going to review a little bit on what the leads module is. So like all the other modules in Zoho, it's up here in the black. And then you're going to come down and you're going to see your typical layout. If we go into an existing lead, you see you have your, um, your business card and your most important up to five fields that you can have up here. And then down here, uh, you have a lot of out-of-the-box fields that come with Zoho and you can fully customize those as is. Some of the more important fields that we see people using is obviously lead source. These are the out of the box um, options, but you can fully customize, get rid of these, and completely customize those to what you want. Um, another mo really important one is, is lead status. Now the lead status tends to be kind of the process by which you work your way through your leads. So, um, and here is where you'd be able to add your own. Again, these are the out of the box ones. You can add your own. And this is where you can decide what status has been. An attempted to contact, maybe those are ones that you're still trying to reach out to. Contacted, now you're working it. And then you can decide a junk lead would be um, maybe something that came in from your web form from a bot or something like that. And then you have a number of different out-of-the-box options, but you can fully customize this to match your process itself. Now, again, you can customize and add whatever fields you want in here, just like you would in any other module. You also have your related lists here, and um, you can have your notes that would show up. Um, and then you have your activities, your open and your closed activities, your emails that have been integrated. If they were part of a campaign, that would show up here. And then any other um, Zoho products that maybe you've integrated, those could show up here as well. One thing you'll note here that's different than if you um, convert this lead and it becomes a contact account or deal, you're not going to see deals here because there's effectively a firewall between leads and, the, and many of the other modules within Zoho. So in order to start tracking a deal for a lead, you do have to convert them. Um, but, you know, there are a few things that you can do here as well. Now, when it comes to converting a lead, that's where you're going to click this convert button here. And then when you do that, Zoho is going to tell you create new account, and it's going to tell you the name of the account, create new contact, and then it will also give you that option to check the box and have the um, deal be created at the same time. Now, um, if we were to go ahead and, and do this conversion, one thing that's important to note is that you will never be able to access this record as a, um, as a lead again. Converted leads are not available um, in the leads. They are then available in the contacts, accounts, and deals. So if I convert this right now, you can see that I now the, the lead has been successfully converted, and now I can go to either the company or the contact record. But if I go to leads, 
and try and find, if I go here and, and I go to the custom view and go to converted leads, I'll see that lead here. But if I try and click on it, it's going to tell me that it's already been converted, so I cannot access it. And I then now have to go to the contact or the account. So now that we've given you an overview of leads and how the conversion process work, if you're looking at more tools from an administrative perspective, we have other videos that get into lead conversion mapping, lead assignment rules, ways to get your leads automatically into Zoho. So if you need that, please look further at our video library. Otherwise, feel free to contact us at, marks, at support at marksgroup.net and we would be glad to get in touch with you or leave a comment here in the video and we will um, be sure to get back to you from there as well. Thank you.